Hey everybody, Jason here. Excited, bringing you a unboxing video of a new knife I picked up, a Buck Selkirk 863. Uh, I found this off Amazon. I was just looking at bushcraft knives and this came up. Um, I'm no Buck expert, but I've never seen this one before. I have no idea how old this model is, but um, as soon as I saw it, I had to have it. Uh, I want to make this perfectly clear that this is not an American-made buck knife, uh, so it's made in China or something. I don't know exactly where. Um, but uh, it was only 45 bucks, and I want to make that price point perfectly clear um, because you get what you pay for, And but I think this is still a good deal, so I just wanted to make that clear. So we'll go ahead and open this up. This is exactly how it came in an Amazon box. Uh, open up the Amazon box, and this was in there. Um, I did already take this out and look at it, of course, how could you resist, and comes with some bubble wrap on it, and um, a couple cards, that has a little spacer, I'll tell you what that is in a minute, uh, but this does have a, where is it, Buck's Famous Forever Warranty. Uh, says unconditionally warrants that it will repair at their option replace this product if it is found to contain any defects in workmanship blah 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 but here you go um, let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit without blurring it up so this is kind of an entire bushcraft slash survival kit right here um, I freaking love it. I, I think it looks awesome. But I'll go over the knife here real quick. You guys can take a look at that because that's probably what you want to see here real quick. I need to get my little square and measure this. I haven't measured anything on it, so I'll go ahead and take this out. So here's the knife itself. Okay, so real quick, some specs on the knife. It's about nine and a half inches four and a half to four and three quarters inch blade it is eighth inch thick the tang and one thing which is nice is the entire blade tapers down really slowly to a point which is really good for flexibility um, it has a full flat grind on the whole blade with a small secondary bevel which is razor sharp I mean, out of the box, it's slice and paper. From what I researched, this is 420 high carbon steel. Now, I don't want to get a thousand comments from you guys trying to, oh, that's soft stainless steel, or that's not real. Yes, uh, there is a such thing as 420 high carbon steel. It is 420 stainless steel that has some carbon content in it. In it I did some research on that that is a real steel and um, but th it's it's just absolutely beautiful it's got your uh, thumb uh, thumb grooves up here for doing some fine work uh, micarta scales removable has some uh, Chicago screws I guess you would say takes a Allen wrench sorry that was my phone um, I love the fact that it has the guard and the pommel to steel like that. That's one of the reasons I got it. But, I mean, it is absolutely amazingly comfortable in the hand. I mean, it's got a nice grip on it. Now, the, one of the videos I watched, I watched the actual Buck video on Amazon. And this little choil right here they made for striking the ferro rod. I don't know how well that would work. I would almost use this thumb area first before I use that dumb little cho choil area to strike the ferro rod. In the video it worked, but you definitely don't want to be going down like this on your knife because you could strike your cutting edge on rocks and whatnot. So, you know, Buck says use this area right here to strike the ferro rod. I do not recommend that at all. Also in one video somebody said that this knife was too heavy. If you think this knife is too heavy, you should not be using the knife. I mean, that's just ridiculous. This, the knives I make are heavier than this. Because I usually use 1095 carbon steel. This is 420. This is this knife is actually a lot lighter than the ones that I make personally. Uh, I mean, if you think this is too heavy, you got issues. Um, 
but that's the knife right there. I mean, it's, I mean, I think it's beautiful. That design on the pommel right there for bashing stuff, your enemy's skulls. Well, don't do that. Um, in this video, I'm not going to be doing a field test. Um, just don't have time today. I, and I don't know when I'll be able to do it, but I just wanted to give it a visual review. Now for the sheath right here, I mean, you know what, this, this is obviously not Kydex. This is all plastic, but it's a Kydex replica and tech lock replica. And you've got all kinds of adjustments on here. All these Chicago screws are metal. Um, the ferro rod has this little locking mechanism, which I gotta take that off. And this ferro rod is a little thin. It's not a 5 16 I would say this is... Mm, it's just about a quarter inch thick ferro rod. And this whistle is kind of stupid, actually. Um, I would consider that more of a dog whistle. So if you're lost and you blow this thing, you better hope the search party has some dogs. And you better hope you don't accidentally call some wolves. But... Um, I mean, I don't really care about the whole whistle aspect, but the ferro rod will work and The sheath there are a few adjustments. You can turn this to make it a scout carry um, I believe you could do it on either side I believe you could flip everything around to either do a left hand or right hand scout carry or or just vertical carry and the one thing I noticed about this Right in here, you've got a small little spacer where you can tighten this Chicago screw and you can tighten the entire retention on the knife going in and out, which is really, really nice. Over time, if you use it a lot, you are going to wear down some of this plastic and all you have to do is tighten this and keep your retention really tight. And that's pretty freaking awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a sheath like that. So that's really cool. And if you could hold this in your hand, it, it's it's pretty sturdy. I mean, this is going to last a long time. I'm not throwing this out or making a leather sheath. I like this. Um, in my opinion, this is going to be just as good as Kydex. I mean, you, you know, you don't want to throw this down on the rock or anything. But it, it's it, it's pretty thick. It's adjustable. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm not sure. Oh, the spacer thing that came with it. This goes in the back belt loop you can space it in a different area depending on how wide your belt is so you get a nice snug fit well i wear i think i wear a standard inch and a half thick belt and i had to take it out completely so but no biggie um i kind of like that little locking mechanism on the ferro rod i think it's pretty cool so in closing guys um I've seen a lot of mixed reviews about this, and I, I just want to say, per you guys know, those of you who know me know that I make knives. Um, and, you know, why wouldn't I just make one? Why don't I just make my own bushcraft knife and use that? Well, <laughs> because I freaking love knives. I don't care whether I make them or buy them. I love them. And the ones that I make when, they, when it takes me a day or two to make a knife, I don't like to take it out and scratch it up and get it all dirty and cut it. Maybe that sounds lame, but I don't care. But for forty, I mean, for forty-five bucks for a buck knife, I mean, not even a buck knife, but a little survival kit knife like this, you you can't go wrong. I mean, I know everybody raves about Mora, and I do have a Mora. They are they are really awesome knives. I mean, this would probably be the next in line, and you get you get the whole system right here. Um, it, it's just awesome. I, I love it. It's really comfortable. Um, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to do a field test on this. Um, I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I mean, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon right now. I, I think I might start barbecuing and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I, I don't know, but I wanted to do a quick review on that and show everybody, um, you know, how long is this going to last? Who knows? I don't know. I haven't put it through the ringer yet. There's not too many videos on YouTube about this knife. I watched. I think I tried to watch just every review on YouTube about this knife so far. And a lot of the things that were said in the review are mistaken. It does not have a hollow grind. It is not your standard 420 stainless steel. It is 420 high carbon steel. Um, it is not heavy. It is very comfortable. And I think... Um, I mean, for 45 bucks, how can you go wrong? 
Now, if you were to spend 250 bucks, like maybe on a Topps knife or someone making you, having a handmade knife, um, obviously you would want something better than this. You would want real Kydex, a real tech lock. You would want better steel than, but for 45 bucks, like I said in the beginning, we're going off the price point. You can't beat that. Okay, I think I covered everything. I think I'm done. Uh, that's the review. Um, and for lifetime warranty too. I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please leave, please leave them in the comments section. I will try to answer what I can. Um, feel free to watch other videos on this. There's a few other guys doing a field test. I haven't got, gotten around to it. I will try to, but um, but that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, well, if you last thing, if you if you want one, they got these on Amazon uh, around forty five bucks. Uh, I paid three ninety nine for extra for uh, one day shipping, so I could get it the next day because I was excited. Uh, but yeah, the Buck Selkirk 863, 45 bucks on Amazon. Check it out. You can't go wrong. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.